you lie. Straight up bust little family ties. Super G supposed to Banging in Brooklyn, grinding in Greenpoint, doing work in Williamsburg, and occasionally making moves in Manhattan. This is Fight Fuel MMA. I am Dave Clifford, aka at Fishy Fridge on Twitter. And I am Joy at JoyGNY on Twitter. And we are here with a three-part Fight Fuel MMA breakdown of the most talked about combat sports spectacle of 2017, Mac Weather. The fight is a fight, the fight for the fans, and the fight for the funds. And this is McGregor vs. Mayweather, the fight as a fight. The Fight as a Fight is a mismatch to mystify the minds of combat sports spectators. One combatant is a professional pugilist with a record of 49-0, whose striking skills have led him to be regarded the greatest defensive boxer in modern history. The other combatant is a mixed martial artist with a professional boxing record of 0-0. In boxing, punches are the only blows a fighter may legally throw. The fight is contested standing. Clinches are quickly broken, and a knockdown or slip cause a halt to the action. In MMA, a fighter may strike with fists, palms, forearms, elbows, shoulders, knees, shins, and feet. A fighter may employ grappling to attack or defend. Fights are contested where the fight is fought, either standing or on the ground. There is no 10 count, there is no 8 count, there is no manufactured break to the action. The fighters matched in the fight are both practitioners of unarmed combat, it is true, but there is a vast difference between the types of unarmed combat they practice. 999 times out of a thousand, the victor of a contest between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather is determined by no other factor than the rule set under which that contest is held. And this contest is to be a boxing match. Thus. Floyd Mayweather is almost certainly assured of victory and a record of 50-0 to retire with, should he choose to do so. But since nothing is certain in the world of combat sport, and since when two men enter into a bout, any outcome is at least within the realm of possibility, it is not impossible that Conor McGregor could pull out an unprecedented upset. And since this fight is subject to the same limitless possibilities as any other fight, we should analyze it as we would any other fight between two armed, unarmed combatants, objectively and impartially. To that end, let us compare the two fighters who will box each other on August 26th and let us understand the rule set they will compete under. This is a quick and incomplete outline of the rules of boxing. Fighters may strike their opponents with their fists and their fists alone. Fighters may strike the upper body of their opponents and are prohibited from striking to the back of the head, to the kidneys, or anywhere below their opponent's belt line. Clinches are prohibited, and clinches will either be broken by the referee, or the fighters will be instructed to fight out of the clinch. A knockdown will result in a 10 count being administered. If the downed fighter cannot rise before the count is finished, the fight will be declared over, and a knockout victory will be awarded the victorious fighter. A fighter being deemed by the referee, the fighter's corner or the ringside physician as unable to continue will result in a TKO victory being awarded the victorious fighter. There will be 12 rounds with a one minute break in between rounds with each round consisting of three minutes. If at the end of 12 rounds neither fighter has been stopped, the judges will render a decision. What should each opponent do to secure a victory? Floyd Mayweather should be Floyd Mayweather. He should do what he has always done be elusive, be untouchable, and be intelligent. Hit McGregor when the opportunity arises, and it will arise, without the need to chase a knockout because it is inessential to victory. Just do what you've done your entire life, box. Conor McGregor should clinch, and then he should clinch, and then he should clinch. Don't clinch too much so that the referee decues your ass or starts to think that you're gonna try to hip toss Mayweather. Just get inside and clinch. Throw out a jab, get inside behind it, and take a shot if you have to, and then, before, during, and after the clinch, start throwing short shots to center mass. Hit arms, hit shoulders, hit the chest, make Floyd not like it, make him try to catch it on the elbows, make him try to tie you up if he can't slip away. And then, if he does tie you up, give him your arm. Let him hold your arm against his side. Let him do it a couple times, 
let him think he's got you wrapped. And then, throw a 180 degree uppercut from floor to ceiling to catch an unsuspecting and unprotected chin. This is the only real way I see of McGregor winning this fight. If I was training him for this fight, I would have him do nothing but jab, hook, clinch, and uppercut the entire camp. I wouldn't even have him bother throwing a left straight or a left overhand because Floyd just won't be there for it to land. 